Hi guys, I uh, finally uh, finished my uh, electric subboard system. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> I'm pretty lazy boy. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you know, it's it's a lot of testing. Right? You have to test different motor, uh, different propeller, and uh, you know, and, and uh, waterproof the batteries. Uh, so uh, I finally, I finally, you know, just bought this, uh, you know, waterproof the box from the Walmart. It costs you uh, eighteen dollar. Yeah, it's like a twenty dollar, you know, with the tax. Uh, uh, this is a can put a, you know, three of this uh, 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 six size battery. I thought this is a more, uh, you know, standard setup, you know. So this is a battery you can find everywhere. Amazon, eBay, anywhere. Hobby store, you know. <laughs> this is a kind of stand-up product. So I want more, you know, stand-up. You can get your battery, you can get your part to replace. So everything is very stand-up. So this is a, you know, the waterproof box that I, you know, just put a... Uh, terminal here you can collect three batteries uh, and then come out there have a little o-ring on the terminal so if you seal up once you uh, plug in once you plug in here you will be sealed, sealed up here uh, so that's uh yeah this is a kind of my of uh, because I, I was thinking about the bills of a battery by myself, uh, you know, but uh, I, I thought this is a much easier way to do it. Uh, so the 6, uh, 6 X and uh, this is the 10 amp power, 6 X 10 amp power battery. And you can put three battery here and you can see it's a very small size. Um, so this uh, three battery can give you um, like a 15 minute ride. It, it's it's not a lot, but uh, you still can have fun uh, on the water. And uh, <laughs> yeah, you can put a bigger box as well. Uh, yeah, let's go through this uh, motor system. Uh, <clears throat> so instead of you know, one bigger motor, I, I uh, you know, finalized with uh, two smaller motor. Uh, I found out that with, uh, you know, the bigger motor, uh, you see that the propeller will, will go one direction. And when you, uh, when you turn, so become one way become easier, another way become harder. Because think about it, you want to surfing on the water, you always, you know, curve, curve, curve. So, <laughs> and uh, with man motor, there are problems with that. Uh, you know, the curve, one side is easier, another side is not that easier. With two motors, since you can see the, the propeller will be, uh, you know, turning uh, opposite direction. It will be turning like this way. So that gave you a very straightforward power. So and when you turn, you'll be filled the same way on either side. Uh, that's the one thing with a two motor setup. And uh, another thing with a two motor setup is uh, uh, with one motor, you have to use something really big motor to, uh, to, uh, to drive a surfboard because this is a you think about this is the right now people use the e foil electric foil board you know that foil underwater will lift you up that's very efficient you know um but uh it, it's a lot of work you know you have to carry <laughs> a lot of stuff <laughs> you know the foil wing the mast and the board you know you have to carry a lot of stuff so this setup is much easier, you know. You can you can put pretty much every kind of board. You can put it on. You can surf on the water. Um, but uh, what I found out, because I tried 
you know, different kind of bird. What I found out is uh, use like a, I mean the best setup probably use something like a hundred liter windsurf board will be perfect for this setup. Um, currently I use the, uh, you know, the stand up panel board made for kids. I think that's around 130 liter or something. Um, the panel board, uh, I cannot really just stand up because it's a panel board made like uh, only for the 100 pound or 120 pound person. You know, it's a very small board. Yeah, it's made for the kids. Uh, I put on that and I can got uh, like a uh, 8 mile power on the water, at uh, the speed. Uh, it's pretty fun. I mean, 8 mile power, it's easy to handle, very easy to handle and very fun to uh, ride on the water. Y you probably think 8 mile is not something big, but think about you just ride on a very uh, narrow uh, little board. That's That feels pretty uh, <laughs> speedy. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, yeah, I tried a, a regular surfboard, I mean that's uh, about 6 feet long, the regular surfboard. Uh, it did not work, because uh, once your body on the surfboard, it's, it's, the, the whole board is sink down. Think about, think about if you want to stand up on that board, you have to put your knee first and then try to standing up. So, yeah, it's, it's not work for me. I mean, probably uh, maybe some professional <laughs> surfer can do it, but definitely not for everybody. I try to do something, you know, you know, the, set, the setup, once you put on, is pretty much for everybody. This is the kind of product for. And, uh, yeah, I use, uh, you know, the standard panel board for kids, the little one. Uh, I think you probably can use the regular uh, stand-up handle board as well, but think about that the the board is too big. The the maneuver will be terrible. <laughs> That's a too big board. You want to you want to curl on the water probably not easy. I mean, uh, if you just want to go straight, definitely no problem. But uh, it's about you want to surfing, right? So <laughs> you have to curve, 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 curve. That's the fun part for the surfing. So yeah, yeah. Uh, regular uh, stand up and the board. I don't. I don't think that's a good choice. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think the best setup probably if you found some uh, windsurf board. Because the windsurf board, the, the sport, the whole sport is kind of pass. So you probably can find something really cheap. Um, about 100 liter windsurf board will be perfect for this setup. You can get a, roughly a 10 mile or 12 mile power on the water. Um, and uh, that'll be super, that'll be super. So right now this setup it's uh, you know two uh, two uh, two thousand watt motor and um, the has has a you know a speed controller built in and uh, I uh, already talked about how you uh, waterproof this uh, uh, brushless motor that's all render brushless motor so I actually have a video I talk about the detail how do you waterproof them. Uh, basically, I put a, a stainless stainless steel uh, battery inside, and uh, I uh, coast everywhere for the epoxy. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much for the whole waterproofing things. And uh, the 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 speed controller itself is waterproof. It's whole waterproof. And um, and uh, once you are uh, you know hook up on your board, basically you just draw the four hole right here, you know, draw the four hole through your board and tie tie down your board, bottom of your board. Uh and and this hole as well to let the wire goes out. And then you can, you know, so this is the positive and negative and the signal wire, the throttle wire. Uh, 
And uh, to link the battery, uh, I already showed you this side. So that's the part to goes to the battery. I mean the the, the waterproof battery box. I put a, a the terminal there. Um, it's it's a different uh, can, which means you cannot really, not really mess up with the positive and the negative. And uh, on this side, uh, you basically just uh, you know uh, positive link the positive together and negative together and then uh, put some uh, glue cover it to uh, you know seal it and uh, signal there's a signal cable I just plug in here you know to get the signal for the throttle and of course you put a you know some glue cover it once you set up to make it uh, you know seal and uh, that's that's waterproof the throttle. Basically, just another you can turn to get the throttle. And uh, once you turn the location, you will stay there. So you don't need to constantly you know hold that trigger. No, this is a, I think this is a much easier. And uh, they have a quick disconnect. Um, once you fall in the water, so you can come back to reconnect. And there have a you know a seal right here, water seal right here. Once you reconnect, uh, once you uh, get up, you just dump dump up uh, the water inside both sides, and then reconnect them. That'll be it. And you can keep going riding. Uh, yeah, that's the whole system, and the, the wire lines is really depend on your you know depend on your board. Uh, I, I put uh, the battery box in the front of the board. Uh, I feel that way, uh, you know, it's, it doesn't really bother me. Otherwise, uh, it probably okay. I mean, because think about you, you lie on the board first and you put your foot forward to, uh, to, to get on your knee and then get up. So, uh, that's why I put the battery box the way in the front. Uh, so it won't bother me to <laughs> the whole process to get up. <laughs> So I think this is a much easier setup, you know. It's much easier, more convenient setup. Uh, you want more ride, just get more battery. So it's very simple. Because I, I want to, you know, make this, uh, you know, very standard. Whenever you need to change something, it's so easy to get. It's everywhere. Think about this. Is a, this is a standard battery. You know, 6S, 10 amp hour battery. It's very standard battery. You can pretty much get on the hobby store, Amazon, eBay, anywhere, you know, it's very standard. The size may be a little bit different, something a little wider, something a little taller, but it definitely can put three battery inside of this box. It's so simple. And there's a lot of room, you know. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm talking about. I try to make the system, it's a uh, much easier and uh, and easier for everybody uh, like i say if you just put this on the you know uh, the board something around 100 liter board uh, everybody can ride i mean you don't you don't need to be a professional <laughs> surfer to ride really you don't need to learn something to ride of course you, you you're gonna fall a lot but but you can ride no problem you can stand up Everybody can stand up right away and then just keep riding. Uh, keep having fun to curve on the, uh, you know, water everywhere. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I want to do, you know. Yeah, yeah, this is a, this is a whole setup and uh, they're available on my uh, website. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Bye.